Well, I guess it's time I could do an update for you guys. This is the uh, the Blue Sunset Sherbert. It's about ready to come down here in the next day or two. Um, I'm not sure if you guys remember I had an issue in the beginning um, of flower. My daughter threw a pillow in my tent and it split this main stem right down the middle. But uh, but uh, it turned out okay and then put out some uh, put out some okay uh, flowers. I'm I'm definitely not uh, not disappointed with it. And this. Uh, Spider Farmer SE3000 did amazing. Um, I just moved. These are the uh, the biscotti mints clones I took a while back. Um, I really didn't have any room to put them anywhere, so I just threw them in here and decided to flower them. Otherwise, I, I really wouldn't have had anything to do with them. Um, kind of ran out of room. But yeah, this is the uh, Spider Farmer 2x2. And this is my, uh, and this is the, uh, 3x4 that I got my Mars Hydro SP3000 in. Um, this is, uh, Peanut Butter Breath. They're, it's just about done, too. Um, it's doing really well. I'm kind of, uh, disappointed in the trichome development, though. There's not really much trichomes on it. It's not very sticky. It's got a good smell to it, though, but it's just, uh, just not as frosty as I would have liked. So, I got some, uh, some peanut butter breath, um, from Green Wolf Genetics that I'm gonna be trying. This is a bag seed that I just popped and threw in here, and it's turning out really well. This is the biscotti mints that I started um, quite a while ago. Um, I put it into flower. These are about seven weeks into flower now, and uh, they're doing amazing. It's got a really cool color. It's like a. It's kind of hard to tell with the lights on, but it is a super dark purple. Um, and its trichome production is amazing it's super super frosty I'm really excited about this one and then I got a blueberry cupcake that I just threw in here because these two are going to be coming out here in a couple of weeks um, and this is a blueberry cupcake from Humboldt uh, Seed Company I believe um, this one I'm going to be doing a run with Foop um, Nutrients, so uh, stay tuned, I'll be posting some videos of that. And then down over here I got some other, um, starting from the way back, that one is uh, Demon Fruit from Tarantula Genetics. Uh, this one up close here is a uh, Slurricane crossed with Wedding Crasher. Um, we'll see how that one turns out and then I have starting from here working my way around uh, that top corner one is uh, another blueberry cupcake the one next to it is granddaddy perp crossed with Afghani um, and then this one right up here let me see where's my finger this one right here is a mango kush and this one is a white widow so yeah, those will be coming up here shortly, um, and yeah, they are under a Vivo Sun VS1000, and they're in just the spare part of this, uh, this 3x4 that I got, that's a 2-in-1 from Vivo Sun, it's a pretty nice tent, I really like, like how I'm able to, uh, keep them apart, oh yeah, so I'll talk about this a little bit too, um, <clears throat> I'm definite, I probably haven't gotten any, I, uh, come on, I tried spraying this thing down with a colloidal silver mixture, just this branch, that's why it's marked off right here, um, but the colloidal silver mixture from, uh, oh, what was it called, um, Teresia's uh, Misting Spray, I think is what the brand name was. It didn't work at all. Um, 
So I just kind of decided to let this one go just to see how it would turn out. Um, but nothing happened. Um, so I will probably end up discarding that, um, that section of the bud there because I was spraying it. Um, I started spraying it from about a week into flower to about three weeks into flower. Um, and it did nothing. Um, did nothing at all. So, but the rest of it turned out really good, and I got some good, uh, some good colas up there. They're not the biggest, um, but they'll do. I'm, I'm definitely not disappointed at all. Anyways, happy growing, guys. Uh, sorry it took so long to get a video going. Um, I'll, uh, definitely, uh, be posting more in the future. And, uh, happy growing and have a good day.